it's early morning, it's probably 5.30 in the morning, going to that boiler placement. Uh, for me to get it done all in one day, it's, I gotta start early. Uh, I gotta do the water heater and the boiler, uh, three zones, so. I always like to get a jump start on stuff. If not, I'll have to go back tomorrow morning, which would be Saturday, to finish it. I'm gonna try to get it done. Hopefully I can get it done today. But I got the electrician come in, by around 11, 12 o'clock, a little wiring. So, I'm gonna have my work cut out for me on this one. Usually I get them done in one day, just a boiler switch out. Usually not a problem, but a little bit more involved with this. I gotta change quite a few different things on it. I just assume get an early start. This way right here, if something happens, something goes bad, if something goes wrong, I'll be able to um, have a little extra time to, to work on it. Alright, stay tuned. I'll try to get some footage of this. Guys, I got it all stripped down. Ready to go. Eight o'clock. Water heat is ready to go. The boil is all stripped. All disconnected. We're ready to go with the power cut. Now I got three thermostat lines. I gotta just confirm which is which for a second and third with this little fox and hound. That's gonna work out good for me. There's three thermostats. And the way they had this set up here with this zone valve over here, it's a little weird. So, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Why would they put a zone valve in there if they got three circulators? That don't make any sense. We'll see. Yes. That's gonna be for us. That's second. First. And then this should be third. I'm gonna have to make sure I'm gonna go do third. And 
for that second. And do third, make sure to confirm that a little. That other one's the third floor. So. That's it. First, second, and third. All right, guys, I got the boiler in place here. Pretty high. I got the water heater over there on blocks. I got them both up on blocks. So I'm gonna start on the return now. Start piping the return off. I'm gonna try to use the same header that I had type of thing. We'll see if I can reuse that. That's what I'm gonna start next. supply tied in there. Two elbows. I'll put my feeder on next. My expansion tank. I gotta change that. Uh, zone valve. Take it out. Put a flow check in there. I got the return. I used the same manifold that I had from the old one. Okay. It was the same manifold. Came this way and just tied it into the uh, boiler. The relief valve's coming off the side here. And, um, you know, the vent will be coming off the top here and going into the chimney also. But I'm just kind of putting it together here. Kind of building it up. One step at a time. Alright, guys. Let it run in here. Little zone control over here. Three zone take up control. A shut off switch. And then no feeder. No expansion tank. Three circulators here. The three zones coming in. The smoke pipe going up. Got the water heater all hooked up. Oh, gas yeah, shut off over there. It just came on up. The angle up on blocks. 40 gallon water heater into the chimney. 
There's a shut off vacuum breaker. Gas pipe there for the boiler. Well, 3.30. I'm pretty much done. I'm just picking up, so. Got it all done in one day. It was pretty good. Just waiting to make sure this thing shuts off on a high limit. Everything picked up in here. Truck's all loaded. I'm gonna have to go home and unload it. Probably do that in the morning. Basically 12 hours to do that job. Got, got it done in one day, so. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching and uh be getting some more stuff coming really soon here. kind of beat today. I don't think I was going to get it done in one day, but I did, so that's good. Alright, thanks for watching.